Hey everyone, it's Baron. I just wanted to make a quick video um, talking about the uh, adding a platform in the Blue Sky Plan Orthodontic software. Uh, I go over it in my regular tutorial, but I guess I don't spend a ton of time on it. And so I wanted to spend a little more time, just a few minutes, kind of talking about how I do it and things to, be, to look out for. So first of all, to do so, to add the platform, you need to be in the orthodontics panel, um, of course, but at the very last phase where it's export and report generation. Okay, I've already added buttons. Um, this is where you would add a label, you would export your models. In this phase, if we right click, just like we were adding a button, but right click on the heel and say add platform, it adds it for us automatically. Now one of the things that you need to be aware of, let's go ahead and just remove this for a second. The heels that I have created in this case are very flat, okay? Or I mean, they're not perfectly flat, they're rippled, but by and large, in, you know, in general, they're pretty flat, which means that um, if I add a platform, uh, it's going to come in tangential to the farthest point distal and both sides. Now, the problem is, as you can see a slight gap there, and if you really zoom in, you'll see little gaps right through here. So, um, and if I w really want to make this even more obvious, let me change the background color right click. Let's change it to just something super obvious. And there, now you can really see that space that shows up. Now, this might be okay for me because the resin, when you're printing, you may actually end up occupying that space and still leave it attached, but it's, it's a risk. And you can see the space through here. Imagine you had a rounded heel. It's really not going to attach very well. Okay, sorry, I had to take a quick phone call. Um, anyway, so uh, this space, we don't like this, especially if it's a rounded heel because you don't know if it's, if it's really going to ad adhere. So the first thing we need to do as soon as we add this platform is embed the heels. You can just grab a hold of it and slide it up, or you can use the arrows um, back and forth. Um, but the whole point is you're just trying to slide it forward, get it so that it's fully in the heels are fully embedded so there is no gap. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. Now, if you think that the, it's too close to these heels that you can't get uh, a tray material around it, well, that's something to be aware of and that may cause you to not embed it so far. Um, in a future version, we should have it so the platforms automatically embed by one millimeter. So you may have to back it out, you may have to work around it, but it's better to have it slightly embedded so you don't have print failures. So that's the first thing I do is make sure the heels are embedded. The second thing I do is I look at the angle of it. It's going to add, it's going to angle 90 degrees to the model. If you have retroclined incisors, particularly in the lower arch or a upper incisor that is in crossbite, it's going to be sticking down and it has the propensity for print failure or the chance, the greater risk of print failure. So in the case like that, I will take this and I will tip it this way, tip the, the um, the occlusal aspect of the platform distally, tipping it away so that when it prints, it's printing like this, and the teeth are essentially more proclined by doing that. Um, that's something I look at these heels, or they, sorry, the distal aspect of these second molars. See how on the other side it's sort of sticking straight out? That's another reason to kind of tip it back a little bit so that it's not, the more straight out it is, the more risk you have of failing for that little aspect. It might, the rest of the model might print fine, but this little part right here might not. And lastly, the most important, biggest time that I see the, the severe need for tipping it back is if you're missing a posterior tooth, a molar, a premolar, whatnot. Because in that situation, the marginal ridge of the anterior tooth to the edentulous spot may actually be sticking down farther than anything else, which means it's unsupported, means it will not print. And you'll have a premolar that is essentially sliced off right here, and it'll be squished, the trays won't fit. So bear, bear that in mind. I usually tip this back, you know, if it was originally here, I tip it back, you can see the blue line, you know, coming up to about, you know, almost like maybe the embrasure space, so it's about five or so degrees tipped back. If you're missing a tooth, I'm gonna go farther, 10 to 20 degrees, uh, and I'm just kind of watching the, di the uh, edentulous space. So anyway, so we've talked about embedding the heels, tipping it back, and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it, okay? 
Now, if you have really, really awkward heels, really narrow pointed, you can make this whole base, this whole platform taller by grabbing this circle and scaling it this way. The default file is 2.5 millimeters thick, which is, should be fine for most all printers uh, in all most cases. But again, you have the flexibility to make it thicker if necessary. It'll only cost you a few more cents in resin and a couple more minutes to print. Um, so it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't like having little areas stick out like this. So my options here are to either, I'm going to tip this forward a little bit more because I don't need it quite that far back. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all fine now, but if that were the case, I could simply move it up or down until that is fully, you know, encased. I just had to make sure that on this side, I haven't accidentally opened it up. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Everything's encased on this side, as is on this side. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to scale on all dimensions. It usually comes in pretty good on this side, but I want to bring this circle in. I don't need it to be, I don't want it to be under. I don't want to be really past it. Pretty close. Maybe two tenths of a millimeter sticking out is fine. I'm going to do the occlusal aspect, making sure that both heels are embedded. Not, you know, it's usually one slightly taller than the other. And then lastly, this side is actually pretty good, but just to give you some perspective, I find that usually one side and the, the, the uh, apical aspect are good. You know, not always both one of the sides, but anyway, so that's it. I have tilt, so just a quick recap. We have embedded the heels. We have tipped it according to any uh, teeth limitations for vertical printing, and then we have scaled it so as to not waste resin, but also if it's too big, that makes it harder fitting more models, okay? Uh, that's gonna be that one dimension, but in particular this dimension. That's wasted space, and as you stack these up on the print platform, you will, you might run into a limitation. So again, no reason to waste resin and uh, or waste space on your print bed. All right, hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye for now.